with me! Who's next? You did it! Burn! I'll cover you! Fire! Yeah! Right. You! Fall! I did it! Elise is incredible at spirit channeling. Her mana lobe must be far more developed than normal. That's not true. But it is! Bet you wish yours was too! Well, I certainly do. Must be nice to have such a powerful mana lobe when you're channeling, huh? I guess. I really don't think about it. Well, you should, since the mana lobe is inside your brain. Wait, really? I hear that sometimes. The spirits will help themselves to a nice chunk of brain along with the mana. So don't channel too much, or that pretty little skull of yours will end up as hollow as a coconut. Ah! I don't want that to happen! Come on, Alvin. Don't scare her like that. Oh, my aching back. Your back hurts? Want me to give you a little therapeutic massage? No. Oh. That's very generous of you. Don't coddle the elderly kid. It never ends well. But he's in pain. I am grateful for the sentiment, Jude. But I worry that your hands might not be strong enough. Perhaps a massage from a nubile young woman would be more effective. You mean me? Hmm. If I had the four, I'd have Ifrit bathe your back in flame to increase blood flow. Then have gnomes send tremors up and down your spine. That would clear it right up. But I suppose I could still do most of that with my own arts. Go ahead. Show me where it hurts. Oh, I'm fine, really. Aches and pains are old friends to a man my age. <laughs> Let's be moving on, then. Huh? You don't want the massage? See what I mean? Yeah. No more coddling. Are you ladies feeling well? Anyone need a break? I'm okay. You sure are friendly. I thought mercenaries were supposed to be gruff and scary. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Although there certainly are a few like that. A true pro uses good manners and a kind demeanor to compensate for the job's shadier aspects. Huh. I guess Elvin would be even worse if he was rude as well as devious. <laughs> I suppose. Man, you really are cool if you can let comments like that roll off your back, little buddy. Right? Sass from stuffed animals, cheeky teenagers calling me little buddy. Nope, don't care one bit. I've never traveled this deep into Ajul before. Nor I. In Rashagal, very little is known about the interior regions of Ajul. Well, if anyone has any questions, fire away. 
I've actually come here a number of times. Because you have a girl in Azul? I came for work, mind you. Work. But sure, I may have met a few girls over the course of my duties. Not the most emphatic denial. Expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, folks. I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five. Hey, Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes, it was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Kresnik. That little thing? But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik too. The real question then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? Hey. Does that mean you can also use Spyrix to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster. Someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of Riza Maxia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything, from a tiny streetlight to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy. And that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four. And anyone can use that power to kill others. Just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. Anyhow, we should get going. She's right about one thing. Weapons like the Lance of Kresnik must be destroyed. But is Spyrex itself really such a bad thing? You seem to know a lot about golems. What was that you said about Earth Spirits? Golems are artificial constructs created by the Rashigol army through Earth Spirit channeling. They can only work within particular spirit climbs, but they're very powerful. Impressive. Isn't she smart? Although she did just hear all that from Rowan. So she's just the Conductor's parrot. Elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone, so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject. However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems, and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impressive...